Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sick Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to record your Xbox One gameplay videos on your PC without a capture card. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So you don't want to buy a expensive capture card to record gameplay and add voice to it on your PC. Well, I have an easy solution for you to get your gameplay to your PC without a capture card. So let's go turn on our Xbox One, sign in, and set it to the home dashboard. Then let's go over to our computer right now. In the bottom left-hand side of the screen, there is a search icon. Let's select that. Otherwise, go ahead and type in the search bar and type in Xbox Council Companion. And it should auto populate. And in the upper left hand side of the screen now, it says Xbox Council Companion app. Let's select this. Now go ahead and sign in with your Microsoft account, your Xbox Live account. And you should be able to see all your friends on the right hand side of the screen. And your profile pic should show up right here. On the left hand side of the screen let's scroll down through the different options to connections now and it should look like this if it's connected to the wi-fi or your internet it should pop up here automatically otherwise type in your ip address right here and try it through that method let's select my xbox one and connect so it's connected to my xbox one it should look like this now let's go to stream and it should start connecting to my Xbox One with this blue screen. If this pops up, go ahead and read it and go to continue. There are no controllers attached to this P. Attach one to either your PC or your Xbox One and press continue. So let's press continue. Now I have my Xbox One screen up and I'm able to go through the different menus. I have it connected to my Xbox One for my controller. I now have my Xbox One streaming to my PC. Let's start up a game and switch over to my other monitor. So now on my second monitor, let's open up a web browser. So I'm gonna be getting this software to record my voice and just to record the gameplay on my PC. It's called Streamlabs, just like this. Go ahead and enter it into the address bar, press enter, then scroll down to this button right here where it says download Streamlabs free. This is free software and it's very easy to use. I'm gonna show you how to use that right now. So this is Streamlabs OBS. Go ahead and sign in with either your Twitch account, Facebook, YouTube, or a Google account. And it's gonna connect you to your profile. As you can see, this is connected to my Twitch and YouTube account. These are my recent subscribers. So I have one on YouTube and I have one on Twitch right here. Now we're gonna set it up so we can record gameplay. So in the bottom left hand side of the screen, let's go to settings. Let's go down to output. Now let's go to recording. Choose your recording path where you want your files to be saved to. So mine is set to my screen record file on my hard drive D. So find a appropriate location for your files. Now for recording quality, let's switch this over to high quality, medium file size. And I'm gonna use the MP4 format. Then go to done. Now on the left hand side, I have a bunch of different scenes already created. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna to go to this add new scene icon right here and i'm going to name it xbox one and go to done so i have xbox one under here now i'm going to go over to my sources and i'm going to go to the plus icon then i'm going to go to window capture and i have my xbox one gameplay streaming on my second monitor if you only have one monitor you'll have to open the window after you start recording so let's go to add source now I'm going to add new source instead. Type in Xbox One, go to add source. And under window, we're gonna to want to find the Xbox companion application right here. Go to done. So if it doesn't show up, exit out of the streaming window and go back to this page. Now select the Xbox One window and right click on it. Then go to transform and go to fit to screen. And it's gonna take up the entire window now. Let's go back to sources and add our microphone to it now. This time we're going to audio input capture. Go to add source. And you can go to add new source instead and just type in your microphone name. So I do have Blue Yeti as a microphone so I can type in something like that. 
just going to leave it at audio input capture. Then go to devices and choose your microphone. So I have Blue Yeti selected right here. Let's select that. Go to done. Now you can see your microphone in the bottom right hand side of the screen. We're going to adjust it with the slider to the point where it's kind of just in that green section, that yellow about halfway with the higher pitches. So right there, it seems like it's good. If it's too high and it's in the red, your microphone is going to be very distorted. So right about when it touches this yellowish green, you're going to want to keep it there. So we will want to do the same thing with our desktop audio, and this will be for our gameplay sound. So make sure everything is unmuted. So my microphone symbol is unmuted on both my audio input capture and my desktop audio. Now the next thing you could do is add your specific display by going to display capture if you want to display your entire screen. Otherwise, if you want to add a web camera to it, you could go to video capture device. Now I'm just going to record my gameplay with a microphone now. Let's go back to my other window here and go to stream and it's going to reconnect. Go to continue. So now on OBS, we can see the desktop audio. Every time like the music plays, uh, there's a gunshot or something in the background if you're playing Call of Duty. Now let's go down to record. And when the record button is selected, you're going to see time start in the bottom right hand side and the record button will be highlighted. Now we can go ahead and capture our gameplay like in Minecraft or any other game that we want. And we can add our voice commentary to it when we're actually playing. This is a limitation on the original Xbox. You can't add voice just in your recording. So this is one way to get around it. So now that you're done recording, just go to the record button again, select it and the time will stop. So it is now gone and it should be saved in our folder now. If you are looking for additional tutorials on how to use Streamlabs OBS, I will have this playlist that I've created linked down below in the description. Otherwise, go ahead and click on the card that is popping up right about now. Streamlabs OBS is a powerful software that allows you to live stream and record and bring your image of what you want for your channel to your audience. Very simple and easy. Go ahead and just play around with this software, look at my tutorials, and have fun using it. So if this video on how to add voice to your Xbox One gameplay on the PC with no capture card did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave this video two thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 and Xbox One tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.